So today we're going to get a little close and personal. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I'm going to show you a product that I got today. I guess I'll show you now. It is the L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof Eyeliner. Okay, so it is now 534. I hope you guys can see. It is 534 right now. I'm going to put this on, and I'm going to leave it on for probably about four to five hours. And I know that's not a very long time, it's just like a little bit of time, but I want to see just pretty much how it's going to last in four to five hours. No, I'm not going to go swimming. No, I'm not going to go dump my head in a big bowl of water. I'm just going to see how it works. Just because I want to see how it applies. I want to see if it's going to flake off in four to five hours. I just, I just want to see today. I was going to wait until tomorrow, but I don't want to. I just want to do it today. I just got out of the shower and I'm bored and I just want to do it today. So, I'm going to apply it for you guys. I'm going to show you guys. I am putting it on now. I'm not going to, like, just change it up. Putting it on now. I'm going to hop back on my camera in, like, four to five hours. Hopefully longer, like, if I feel like going to bed later. But generally, I'd go to bed at, like, ten. So, I'm going to hop on camera, and I'm going to show you guys how it looks in four to five hours. And hopefully, it's going to look good. I'm kind of excited for this product. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Okay, so, it says to shake it up, of course, like any other eyeliner. So, shaking it okay so I'm just gonna use my little mirror right here to apply it and we'll see how easy it is to apply so I'm gonna get a little bit closer to you guys because I feel like we need to be a little bit closer to one another and get oh my light oh by the way I might be a little haunted in here because the lights go on and off all the time I don't know why it does that it's so annoying okay so anyways we're gonna get a little close and personal no I'm not wearing any makeup don't give me a hard time I didn't want to wear any makeup okay I just want to do this I don't I don't want to put on any makeup okay all right so let me get going let's go okay so I guess that's what the applicator looks like it's a bit small it's not the same um I really like the carbon black eyeliner linear intense one it's not the same as that it's a little bit smaller and a lot skinnier than that one so we're gonna see how soft it is okay we're gonna see how soft so let me see how all right so we're gonna see how easy it is to apply I was reading reviews and like they said it's really hard to apply this eyeliner but I want to try for myself because I'm pretty good with eyeliner so I want to try for myself and yes I know I need to do my eyebrows really really bad just give me a break okay you guys you guys are just so judgmental you guys are just all over my back about it. just chill out okay so let me see okay so it's not as easy as linear intense, I will say that. Yeah, it's definitely not as easy as linear intense. Okay, so I will say for any of you beginners, do not get this eyeliner. Because if you guys are beginning with eyeliner, definitely get the linear intense. This one is actually pretty hard to control. Like, I feel like I'm putting it on it with a very stable hand, and it's not going on very stable. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it do it is kind of, like, wobbly. I don't know why. It just, it doesn't seem very, well, I guess it's not that bad, but it's not as good as when I put on my linear intense. Like, it's really good when I put it on. So, we're going to try this side now. And I've noticed with this one, you have to push down. You have to have, like, a very light hand with this one just because um, if you push down really hard, I'm going to get, like, this really ugly, thick, thick, thick line. And um, a lot of product comes out when you push down. Okay, so I really don't like the application of it, um, which is really what all the reviews were about. They did say the application of it was not very precise. The linear intense does a way better job, but they don't have it in waterproof. So L'Oreal, if you guys are watching, please make that in waterproof because all of us will be a lot happier if you do so. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to try out waterproof is because I do like having eyeliner on my bottom lash line, and I do have a pencil eyeliner that says it's waterproof, and I do like my Rimmel waterproof eyeliner, but it does still smudge a little bit on me, and it's very hard to get off. I have been having a lot of trouble getting it off my eye, and you guys know I have the most sensitive eyes, like, ever. It really, really hurts my eyes. So, I need something that was going to be really easy to wash off, and liquid eyeliner is has always just been an easy thing to get off. It's never hard to get liquid eyeliner off, so I wanted to get it in a liquid liner, so that's why I got this one. That is, like, the whole reason is because I wanted to try and get onto my, um, water line. So, we are going to see how it works on the water line. So... Can 
ಹಾಕೊಳ್ಳಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸೇ ಐ ರಿಯಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಾವ್ ಐ ರಿಯಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಐ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಲೈನ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಲೋ ಟು ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಈವೆನ್ ಐ ರಿಯಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಲೈನ್ little harder to apply it to this side because I'm like having to go like this so it is a little harder but okay so this one definitely is not as precise okay so I know it's not perfect I this is my first time ever using it you guys can tell this is my first time ever using it so I just applied that for you guys um, and we are going to see how it looks in like I said about four to five hours to see if it's gone anywhere we're gonna see if it works well I guess I don't have to be that close to you guys So it is now later, my hair is now messier, and I just wanted to do the finale for you guys of what my eyeliner did, and I'm going to get nice and close to you guys. I don't know if that's too close, I don't even know, because my camera seems to make it to where if I'm super close, it still doesn't go close enough, so... Anyways, so anyways, overall it did really well, it didn't budge at all, and literally for a while I was sitting there and I was like messing with my eye trying to pick it off, it never came off, like, it would come off like more like in flakes, it wasn't like smudging, which I would prefer flakes over smudging any day, um, but anyways I really did like it, I think it's really great, um, so now we are going to go to the removal part of this process, so come on, let's go. What I will be using today to remove my makeup will be the Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes from the Target brand Up and Up, and it's comparable to the Pond's Clean Sweep. But um, those are what I'm going to be using to try and remove my makeup. Now I don't have a mirror, so I have no idea how it's going to turn out or if I'm even going to aim like at the right spot. But um, just so you guys know, I don't have makeup anywhere else except for my eyes, so I don't have to really rub all over my eyes. I just have to rub that. But I wanted to see how well... Um, it would come off using just this, so I didn't have to use, like, um, the actual, whatchamacallit, pond. Okay, so far, nothing is coming up on here, except for I did have, like, concealer around my eyes, so you guys are going to see it even without concealer. But, um, so far, nothing's coming off. So, that's kind of scary. Um, there is still absolutely nothing on this thing so I'm a little bit scared right now I wish I was looking in a mirror because I don't know why nothing is coming off okay this is really weird still nothing is on the rag literally nothing is on there except for concealer um what okay this is really odd so I'm look in the mirror and I will get back to you. So you guys get to see firsthand what it looks like when I take my concealer off my eyes. This is pretty much what my eyes look like after I wash my face because they get very irritated. My eyes, I cannot tell you, they just get so irritated so easy, so quick. Just, it's terrible. So I have to put ointment on my eyes now to try and bring my skin back to its like normal state to where they're not as irritated anymore. So um, that's what my eyes look like that and that's why I'm like super duper shiny right now. But anyways, this is about the eyeliner, not about my eyeballs. So the eyeliner I would give a huge thumbs up you guys saw when I was washing my face the eyeliner like was not coming off but when it was it was coming off in like like little like flakes and I don't even want to say flakes I want to just say well yeah flakes like they were just like little like you guys use like the tubes or whatever they came off in like tubes it was really nice I liked it a lot um that's how I like my makeup to come off I'd rather come off in like like tubes or like flakes rather than like a big black blob so anyways it came off really nice um it came off very easy when i just used my actual face wash so um 
yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I would give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking for an eyeliner that's good waterproof one, I would recommend that one. I actually really liked it. Um, Maybelline has some that I actually like a lot as well. That one comes off a lot easier than this one, though. This one, you know, was, was hard to get off. Like, I really feel if I were to jump in the water, it would still stay put. And you guys saw, I, even, I didn't put on my waterline. I kept saying in the video I was putting on my waterline. It definitely was not on my waterline. It was on my lash line. And I kept saying waterline. I'm like, they're going to think I literally had on my waterline when it was on my lash line. So hopefully you guys um, realize it was not my waterline. It was my lash line. Um, so anyways, I'm going to get going because now I'm just starting to ramble. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.